Hello Charlottesville City third graders. We are looking forward to your special visit to Monticello this fall. While you're here, you'll learn about life and work at Monticello over 200 years ago. Monticello isn't very far from you. In fact, it's also in Charlottesville. People visit from all over the world to learn about Thomas Jefferson, our third president, and the house that he designed and lived in. The cool thing is, we're practically in your backyard. And speaking of backyards, you'll get time to spend exploring Thomas Jefferson's 1,000 foot long vegetable garden. He called it an edible laboratory. Thomas Jefferson wasn't just a president and a founding father, he was a reader, he was a writer, he was a thinker and a gardener. Thomas Jefferson once said, not a sprig of grass shoots uninteresting to me. He was interested in everything. And Thomas Jefferson would make observations and record his information in things like these, his ivory notebooks. He would record notes about the weather, about the size, and information about vegetables in his garden. He would write the notes on his ivory notebook and then take that information back to his books and journals and transfer that scientific data to those books. When he was done, he could then erase these ivory notebooks by wiping them clean and they were able to be used again. While you're here, you'll make and record observations just like Thomas Jefferson did. You'll use a paper note card made to look just like his. You'll use the note card to record things that you observe or notice during your visit. Wow, that's a huge pumpkin. It's enormous. You have any idea how much that thing weighs? I don't know. Maybe well, 15 pounds? 15? I don't know. Well, Should let's we put it on the scale and let's figure wait. it out. Let's see what it is. Wow. 22 pounds. That's an enormous pumpkin. It is. Let's go record that information. Oh, yeah, we need to write that data okay. down. Yeah, that's big. Oh, Susan, are you using Thomas Jefferson's weather vane to figure out the wind direction? Which way is it blowing? The wind is blowing from the north today. All right, Jackie, this is a beautiful plant. What do you think this is? They are beautiful. Kind of looks like pine trees. Yeah, even has little bitty flowers on it. Hmm. Mmm. That smells nice. Mm. I think it's rosemary. Okay. Is there a sign? Let's check. It is! Look! Look. It's rosemary. Good oh, right. wow. Well, we should probably go record that. Yeah. You will explore Thomas Jefferson's garden using your five senses. Touch, sight, smell, sound, and even taste, and make a record of it. After your visit, you'll use your notes and drawings to make a special piece of artwork that will be displayed at Monticello for all visitors to see. Your teachers will tell you more about your project when you get back to school, and we will provide you with the materials you need to make it. In January, we will invite you back for a special celebration and exhibit, and we'll give you free passes to bring your family and friends on a visit to Monticello, too. Along with seeing his backyard and his gardens, you'll also get to come in this wonderful house. Did you know Jefferson owned over 6,000 books? Did you know he collected fossils? And have you ever seen a mastodon tooth? You will get a chance to visit the Griffin Discovery Room and explore all kinds of things like making Monticello out of block. Be sure to dress appropriately for your field trip. It can be wet and chilly in November. And read the children's guide that your teacher has for you. It will help you prepare for your trip. And while you're reading, see if you can find out what Thomas Jefferson's favorite vegetable was and we'll ask you if you know when you're here. Thanks for watching our video, third graders. We're looking forward to seeing you at Monticello.